My pleasure to be here today as an agent of His Excellency, the President, to officially commission this Jitume Digital Laboratory. I'm saying so because this is part and parcel of the President's digital superhighway agenda through which we want to revolutionize this country while leveraging on technology. The Kenya Kwanzaa government has developed this program called Jitume, whose objective is twofold. One is to undertake digital skilling of the youth. But most importantly and fundamentally, to ensure that we empower our youth through digital jobs. The white collar jobs today are unlimited, are, are limited, if not non-existent. And the only space where we have got unlimited opportunities is the digital space. This Jitume digital program, Good People, is a game changer because it gives you the opportunity to start earning while leveraging on digital platforms while you are still a student. We have talked to these students here, and it is amazing the abundance of opportunities that we have on digital platforms. It is the only sustainable way as a country, as a government, through which we can keep our youth involved in gainful employment. Since His Excellency, the President launched the first digital program at the Kabete National Polytechnic last year, but one in October, we have today deployed devices to a total of 185 hubs. We have deployed the devices to all the national polytechnics for a start, all the TVETs for a start. But moving forward, we want to go to the, the extra mile to ensure that in each and every ward in this country, each and every ward where there is an MCA, like your local MCA here, we are going to have a digital hub for purposes of training our youth on digital skills, but also correspondingly connecting our youth to global technological companies so that they can acquire digital jobs. Since we started this program, we have managed to train a total of 390,000 youth on digital skills, while correspondingly we have also created 135,000 digital jobs. Makofi Kwasiyas. So we want to encourage you and assure you that you are on the right trajectory. And we want to urge you to take this program as seriously as you can because it is an opportunity to change your life once and for all. It transforms you from a learner to an instant earner, but eventually this program will transform you from a job seeker to an entrepreneur. Because once you earn and save, you will have adequate resources to go out there and set up your own digital laboratory, and you become an employer as opposed to a job seeker. On the flip side of it, correspondingly also as government, I also want to let you know that we are going down to the villages to establish Wi-Fi hotspots in the markets so that our mothers and sisters who are involved in itinerary trade can take part in e-commerce. Today, you don't have to have a physical interface between the buyer of a commodity and the seller of a commodity. Once we connect the Wi-Fi hotspots in the market, the sellers of the commodity only need to post the pictures of their commodities online. And that will facilitate interaction with the prospective buyers. They agree on the spices, payment is made through M-Pesa, delivery is done through border border or otherwise. That is what we call e-commerce. And we have already developed an e-commerce policy and bill. We have come up with a national addressing system that would facilitate 
transportation of commodities nationally to facilitate e-commerce as a viable means, if not a feasible means, of trade within this space of digital economy. Again, as government, good people, we are no longer going to require members of the public to physically visit government offices moving forward to consume government services. Most Kenyans have been facing challenges when they are applying for ID cards, passports, because they have to physically visit government offices, and they face a lot of unnecessary bottlenecks, bureaucratic bottlenecks. Today, we are going to ensure that moving forward, all government services are going to be available on the e-citizen platform, so that you can consume government services from the comfort of wherever you are. When we came into government, we only had 350 services on the e-citizen platform. Today, we have managed to digitalize over 15,000 government services which are available virtually on the e-citizen platform.